subjective on who we choose, and you have to choose the right guys, which is anything. We feel like we've done that. So where we are is year four, and I just know from what we see back there behind the scenes, it looks pretty good. Any specific niches you're going after for recruiting? Or? Just possible player that we can get to fit our system, the system that we run. We say system, little bit player, players that can run, athletic, that love football, like to compete, all those things that believe in the student athlete. I mean, this is, we're not a university where I'm just going to go play football, I don't care if I get my degree. That's not us. These old things that we look for, there's a lot of players that want that. Chloe, I know. Uh, as of this morning, you can finally talk about the transfer quarterback coming in and Brandon Peters. Uh, I don't know what would have happened had we not been able to talk about him because uh, you'd be talking about Isaiah Williams and the other two guys. But only one quarterback out of your four right now has thrown a pass in the Big Ten for Illinois and Matt Robinson. Just what do you see in Brandon Peters coming in and how will that quarterback uh, country, or, you know, competition be once camp starts in a couple weeks? Well, for us to go and add a grad transfer quarterback, we're saying that we needed something that we didn't have in the mix that you couldn't get with just young players coming in. And that's why we went with Brandon. We did the same thing with A.J. Bush, and I like everything A.J. did with us the year before. That's what we're looking for. We eventually have to throw the football. And Brandon can throw the football. It's good. Height, he's a good athlete, better than he's given credit for. He's been around, he's been in that role so as a leader, in that role, the quarterback, for a long period of time. He's a confident player, and he wanted a second, he wanted a better situation for him. And we were able to offer him all of those things. And for our football team, you know, we're bringing in, we're bringing about three, uh, one, two, a few grad transfer receivers. Just that skill group that we're bringing in, they're from, they're from good programs, and. Uh, we feel like they're going to all bring something that we don't have to our program right now. How uh, different of a quarterback is Brandon as opposed to what A.J. was coming in last year? Again, what I'm saying is we, I have been on the field with Brandon. We haven't right. been there, but uh, you know, A.J. will probably be considered more of a runner than a thrower. Mm -hmm. Brandon would probably be considered more of a thrower. But we talk with quarterback, I think that's a good thing. You know, eventually, we'll make a statement again. Eventually, quarterbacks have to be able to throw the ball, make good decisions, when to throw it, who to throw it to. And that's what we're hoping we're getting from the friend. Reggie's breakout year last year, you know, uh, and his decision to come back probably was a, you know, a relief to you. And you know, in terms of you know him coming back for a senior season, and if he has another year like he did last year, then you know with that offensive line you know blocking for him, just what what do you what do you see his ceiling being in 2019? I don't know what his ceiling is, and I, I think that's the question you should be asking. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a player where you know you say hey, this is his ceiling. I mean, you're always hoping that that ceiling is somewhere up there after you keep improving, you keep searching and trying to make. That, make it up there too, and that's Reggie's. He, had, he did some good things, but it's not like he played perfect games last year. So there's a lot of good things we have to improve. I know he'll say he's gotten stronger, and uh, he'll say this is the hardest he's ever worked in an off season. That's all you can do when you come back from a, a successful year. You work harder uh, physically, but then the, the protection, you're running back, there's protection, there's all different parts of your game that you can improve upon. What's unique about a team for transfers from coming in and meshing with four-year players? Which you know, I think it's just with everything. You have people that don't know each other, they get together, and you hope that they, they do match right away. And it's left with us on what type of guys that we're looking for. That we have an idea of how they're going to fit in. I feel like that's who we recruited. Good guys that believe in the team concept, uh, that all are looking for the same thing. An opportunity to succeed. I feel like we got a chance for that. The guys that maybe have to sit out this year, how, how much have you noticed? Guys, sit out guys, sit out transfer type guys. How much have you noticed them being you know, still part of the team, on the scout team, and everything like that, encouraging and giving their knowledge to players that are on the field? How much of a dynamic is that? Well, you know, uh, since a lot of decisions have been made, we haven't actually practiced football wise. They've been really strength and conditioning. Things that are going on. Uh, from what we see, they dropped off at all. Everybody's role is different each year. 
You know, a player like Luke Ford, he knows his role. I'm not playing this year. What my job is, every day I go out there, is to make my teammates better. And I get in Luke's role, you know, we just lost one of the best defensive ends in football that's not going to play this year. And Bobby, we got to get that next guy ready. What better way to get ready unless you, than when you have to come every day in practice, you got to be ready for one of the best tight ends coming off the ball. You better be ready to play or he's going to embarrass you. So Luke realizes that. And, uh, and we may even have a couple of other guys too eventually that we'll be announcing that are coming from the pro you know, from a few programs that will be in a similar situation. But you wait your time. Just like if you have an injury early on, you can't help a team this way, but you look for another way to try to help. Between what AJ was successful with last year and then the stable of running backs you have led by Reggie, it feels like running the ball was sort of an offensive identity for you guys last year. How, how much does the offense take pride in that, and how can you maybe uh, manifest that into something uh, that can take the next step in this offense? Well, I would take pride in it. It's a must. You have to be able to run the football. And that's what we're, yeah, that's our philosophy. I think in Germany, you be able to run the football. Most good football teams can run the ball. So you have to take pride in that. And, that, and for that to happen, the offensive line has to play a certain way. Simple as that. They know that. that that's not a secret. And uh, 